I'm Paul Maxwell. These paintings are from my Aerial View series, which is my way of paying homage to what the Indians called Mother Earth. They are part of a larger group called Geocentric. My use of an acrylic mastic, an artist material, allows me to achieve unusual dimensionality in my paintings. The relief element is almost automatic in suggesting earth formations from an aerial view. Anyone who has flown at an altitude of a few thousand feet or more and looked down at the landscape has seen the effects on the earth of the human presence marked out by the practical pursuits of land surveying, agriculture, and industry. In these pursuits, mankind's use of the most practical and least abstract form of mathematics, geometry, is apparent in the lines, section lines, furrowed fields, rectangles and circles, which from an aerial view come into focus as a ready-made abstract painting. My painting titled Aerial View makes strong allusions to the familiar elements of geometry, lines, circles, rectangles, arcs, segments, angles, as well as to the untamed earth with its natural formations such as hills, lakes, and eroded areas. These natural and man-made elements brought together as a painting are a visual poem which seeks to resonate with the viewer's store of aesthetic experience. My acrylic relief painting, Precambrian, is rich with suggestions of geologic imagery without actually depicting any of the many forms of sea life which appeared during the Precambrian division of geologic time. The painting's low relief and sandstone color, together with its stratified composition, remind us of the fossilized forms of organisms of past geologic ages. There is also the hint of hieroglyphic writing especially that of the ancient Egyptian and Mayan cultures, which adds to the feeling of ages past. Yet, not one of these apparent allusions was intentional, which illustrates the power of the imagination to carry us into a world of fancy. I think of my paintings as visual poems, often fed by the knowledge of science, as in the case of Precambrian, with its geologic overtones. For more information on this important artist and the art of Paul Maxwell, visit the internet, Google Paul Maxwell Art, or visit paulmaxwell.com.